Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our legs. We are going to start off with the greater stretch, 5 repetitions on each side. So we have to ensure we get our dynamic stretching in on our leg days or on any other muscle which we are going to work. Going forward you may choose to do other kind of dynamic stretches which are focused on that particular muscle if you do face any kind of challenges for example i often feel my hips are a little bit tight whenever i'm squatting so i always ensure i throw in a couple of hip mobility drills or hip stretches to ensure that i'm properly primed for my exercise so after completing the greatest stretch i move on to my deep squat wherein we sit in a deep squat for a few seconds at least now you may prefer to do it anytime else also it's absolutely fine but i prefer to do it just pre-workout no matter which body muscle I'm working on. Sit in a deep squat, stay there for a few seconds, just stretch your hips and then we can get going. Now post completing my deep squat, I have done a couple of hip mobility drills. Now the first one is the 90 degree drill wherein as you can see, you sit down, get your knees into 90 degrees. So one leg at a time, one leg forward, one leg at your back and switch from one leg to the other. Now the video is sped up a little bit. You can hold the stretch for 5 to 10 seconds. That's more than sufficient just to ensure you might feel a little bit of tightness on one side than the other and that's absolutely fine. It usually happens with all of us. You may try to do a couple more repetitions on the side which you feel a little bit more tighter. And after completing that I moved on to the regular hip openers which we usually did. Uh, before also you can do it weighted by holding a dumbbell or a kettlebell or you can do it just with your body weight just to open up your hips a little bit before we get going. Now to start off with I'm going to start with leg extensions. So today I'm going to do a little bit of pre-exhaustion before starting my exercises. So these are actually our working sets but we are going to do these before doing some of the compound lifts. So we exhaust our energy a little bit so make it a little bit more challenging to do the bigger lifts so two sets 15 repetitions and the weight has to be challenging it shouldn't be an easy weight so here i was going around 50 to 60 kilos i don't uh, actually remember exactly but yes so make sure you make take a weight which challenges you for those 15 repetitions and keep the break a minimum 45 to 60 seconds should be sufficient I tried both legs or you know open stance and closed stance just to work my entire quadricep muscles get the blood flowing into them and get the pump going before I move on to my compound lifts. Make sure you stay absolutely seated with the setup you don't want your butt coming off the seat. For my next pre-exhaustion exercise I switched on to seated hamstring curls again two sets 15 repetitions, challenging weight, slow and controlled manner. Remember to do all your repetitions in a very slow and controlled manner. You don't want to just swing the weight around, especially when you're releasing the weight or you're releasing the tension of the cable. So as the weight is coming down or in the cable machine which you're using, make sure it comes down as slowly as possible and you control it. You just don't drop it because that's where maximum growth happens as your muscle is stretched and you're trying to control it make sure that again you're seated you're completely planted on the setup you don't move around much you focus on the muscle which is working as you can see here i kept my toes together i like to do that on the seated hamstring curls because when i'm doing rdls i keep my stance open i or even when i'm doing squats i keep my uh, toes pointing outwards a lot more because that allows me to squat a little bit deeper otherwise my I feel a little bit of tightness in my hips so when it comes to seated hamstring curls where I can keep my legs close or toes touching I do that here so that I can work I can give an all-round workout for my leg muscles now post completing the both my pre-exhaustion exercises the leg extensions and the hamstring curls I moved on to squats regular basic barbell squats three sets 12 repetitions now for the first two sets I was just squatting parallel to the ground depth as you can see keeping my bar path straight the bar is just going up down keeping my core tight 
breathing normally. I'm not holding my breath because this weight doesn't demand me to hold my breath much. I can just do the squat in a very relaxed or in a very controlled manner. Here too, I'm not just jumping around or bouncing the weight. I'm trying to keep the weight descent and the ascent in a controlled structured format. Now, post completing a couple of sets, I decided for my last third set, I'm not going to show you the entire thing because squats are pretty basic and I'm pretty sure by now you know how to do them. I just tried a couple of deep squats with pauses. So you can try that too. I, as I mentioned, I like to take a wide stance, a little bit wider stance than my shoulder, open my hips a little bit and then sit in a deep squat, stay there for one or two seconds and then come back up with the same weight which I have been doing for the first two sets. So simple, easy. Post completing our squats, I moved on to RDLs. Now, best for your hamstring and glute growth. Simple exercise. Let the bar be in contact with your body at all times. So, you're pushing your glutes behind as you want the bar to go down. And once you want the bar to come back up after feeling an extreme amount of stretch in your hamstring and glutes, you want to squeeze your glutes together and push yourself horizontally so that the load is not on your back, but it's your hips and your hamstrings and your glutes which are doing the majority of the work to get the weight back up. Always make sure the bar is in contact or absolutely near to your leg muscles. Contact is the best thing to do. And use straps and gloves because that makes your job a little bit more easier in terms of controlling the weight so you're not tired or giving up reps because your grip strength is giving up before your leg strength. So here again, one more thing I would like to mention is I like to have a wide open stance here once again to let my hips a little bit easy. For our next exercise, actually the last one, we are going to do weighted walking lunges. So in my gym, I have this fixed weight small barbells and I can't use the uh, big Olympic barbells because as you can see, there's space constraint. I'll be hitting on to people who are doing other workouts nearby. So I took the heaviest one available, which was the 30 kilos, did the first set. I felt it was okay. I was in control. Then what I've done is I've taken a small, smaller barbell, loaded up with 20 kilos on each side, just a little bit heavier weight, and then started walking, basically doing the walking lunges. So again, here you want to do it in a controlled manner, in a very slow controlled manner. With every repetition, you want to stand up straight and then go to the lunge and proceed with it. Make sure that you are doing this on a ground which is not slippery because you don't want to slip because any kind of slip here can hurt you and you have absolute control of the weight which is behind your back. So if you get tired in between, you can obviously drop the weight. That's absolutely fine. Safety is more important than completing your repetitions. And that's it for today. We are completed with our exercises. We are going to finish off with our static stretching, which is the easy one on the barbell. Place your ankle, get your body as straight as possible and start feeling the stretch happening in your quadricep muscles. One leg at a time, 20 seconds at least. Actually, maximum. You don't. If you want, you can stay there for more, 10 more seconds, but anything more than 30 seconds is not particularly necessary. Post completing that, immediately switch on to your hamstring stretch on the same barbell. Just enough height if you want to exaggerate the stretch pull your, pull your toes towards your body and bend a little bit forward and that's it for today thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe thank you again have a good day i will see you in the next video